Yo, 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 what's good, fam? Welcome to PNP. It is your boy Rashad, one half of PNP, and today we have another entry into the Sign or Walk series. Next up, we have Henry Anderson. If you haven't been introduced to this series, I am going to create a playlist for all of the entries that I've done so far. So far, it's just Deonta Foreman and now Henry Anderson, and I'll put uh, a link up there so you can check and, and uh, subscribe to that playlist. So anytime I drop a sign or walk video, you can just watch the entire playlist, all right? Uh, so just a quick introduction to the sign or walk series. We take a look at the player's production, age, position value, injury history, asking price, and whether the production, production is replaceable or not. We take all that into account, and then we make a decision where I personally believe whether we should sign, re-sign the player, or let that player walk, okay? Now, before we get into this, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, get in the comments. Let me know what's good. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Right now, we are about 1,400 subscribers away. We're getting there. We wanna get there before the draft, so do me a favor, hit that sub button, tell a friend to tell a friend, grab your wife's phone, your kid's phone, whatever you gotta do, hit that subscribe button for your boy, help us get to 20,000 subscribers, all right? Let's go ahead and get into this thing here. All right, so Henry Anderson, man. Henry Anderson, let's take a quick look at how we got Henry Anderson. Henry Anderson is a guy uh, that we picked up in free agency last year, signed a one-year uh, deal to come to the Carolina Panthers. Uh, this guy has, you know, his, uh, was drafted by the Colts um, back in 2016, 2017, had a stint with the Jets, had a stint with the New England Patriots. They ended up letting him go. Uh, and then he ended up signing with the Carolina Panthers on September 5th, 2022. Uh, all right, so... Again, um, D, uh, had some ups and downs throughout, throughout the season, uh, but we'll talk about that uh, as we go along. All right, so uh, let's take a quick look at his uh, production. All right, let's take a quick look at to how he fared in 2022 and the 2023 season. Okay, so looking at the stats, Pro Football Focus grades a 65.1 overall grade, a 66.0 grade in run run defense, and a 54.3 pass rush grade. All right, taking a look at the pressures, no sacks. Uh, four hurries, one QB hit, uh, had 18 combined total tackles, nine solo, nine assisted, and three tackles for loss, and no turnovers forced, uh, no interceptions, no fumble recoveries, anything like that. So, um, off and on for him, um, he didn't play much, um, rotational guy. Uh, dealt with some injuries. I think he played about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. He appeared in 11 games, okay? And so we didn't see him much. And when he did play, he played about, on average, about 15 to 20 snaps uh, per game in, in rotational uh, capacity. Uh, so again, you know, not not too much on on from a uh, from a t participation standpoint. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Let's let's go ahead and move on. So in that, uh, you can see the production. It was kind of mid, and and to be honest with you, uh, that's expected for him at being a rotational guy. Uh, we saw him make some splashes. He did like to have a field goal blocked, uh, so that was dope. But outside of that, you know, wasn't there wasn't much production for him. All right, as far as age is concerned, he's 32 years old. He'll be 32 year, years old in a, in a couple weeks, I believe. So, um, uh, yeah, in August he'll be 32. So, um, a couple of months. So that being said, he is going to be a veteran presence for this team if we decided to bring him back. Um, he's on the tail end of his career, 32 years old. Uh, I, you know, I, I think we can get younger. We can afford to get younger there. All right. So moving on. Uh, position value. I skipped. Looks like I skipped one. But position value. He is playing a position of value. Okay. So again, rushing the passer or effect, anything affecting the quarterback is a valuable position in the NFL, okay? So that is a valuable position. As far as injury history is concerned, this is where I have some concerns. He's, first of all, he's 32 years old, okay? He's getting older. Uh, you know, when he was drafted with the Colts, uh, he suffered a knee injury um, and was placed on injury reserve with a laryngeal, laryngeal fracture. I don't know what the hell that is, but he had a, that injury, okay? Then he comes back. I think he had like a torn pec uh, when he was with the uh, New England Patriots. And then with the Carolina Panthers this past year, the man suffered a minor stroke. So he got a lot going on. There's a lot going on. So you have to wonder, 
what kind of investment would the Carolina Panthers make in a Henry Anderson? It wouldn't be much, you know what I'm saying? So the asking price, it's not going to be a lot. Uh, so with, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the asking price because I think it, it's not going to be a lot. Uh, his, his asking price is going to be mid, and then you have to assess whether how much how much you're going to guarantee him because of the injury history. The, the man. You know he's gonna want a nice amount of guaranteed money uh the bulk of his contract he's gonna ask to be guaranteed because he's on a tail end of his career and he's injury prone so or not would say injuries prone but he's suffered some injuries so asking price should be it shouldn't be much to for for, for us to bring back this guy so th with that said i mean i i do think his production uh, is replaceable. I do think you can get younger. You can find a rotational uh, defensive end in the draft. But this brings me to the question. This is where my brain starts to toggle a little bit, okay? Because we're switching to a 3-4 defense. This guy is six foot six, 300 pounds. That is the typical uh, body and frame you want for a defensive end in a 3-4 defense, okay? So... I got to be honest with you, when you take a look at the roster, that's what we're missing. We're missing that defensive end style guy in the 3-4. That's the biggest weak point, in my opinion, in transitioning from 3-4, uh, from 4-3 to 3-4. I'm going to do an entire video on uh, on Ezero's, on Ivor Ezero's um, scheme and what we're missing because i do think we're missing a couple pieces i think we're missing linebackers i think we're missing a, a defensive end or even a nose tackle depending on, depending on what you want to do with um with derrick brown so i do think there's some gaps so it's not just it's not easy to say hey let's move on from henry anderson because i do think he can fill a role while we transition uh i think his asking price should be a one-year deal uh, about uh, his contract should be about a one-year contract, maybe about a million. That's really what he got this past year. I think you, if you were going to re-sign him, that's the kind of contract he would need—a one-year deal. Uh, it, and it's, it's just say, hey, help us get over the hump. You're going to be a veteran presence. You can come back and you can help us get over the hump uh, in this transition from three-four. Because I believe with the Jets in New England, I believe he has three-four. Uh, defensive end experience i have to verify that but i'm quite sure he has some experience in the three four uh, playing defensive end so and again i think he's versatile enough to to play all across that that uh the, the line on a defensive end, on a three four defense so i think that is valuable and especially with us making that transition that is a valuable thing for the carolina panthers to have but with all that being said taking a look at what we have on this board um, I got to let the, the, you know, the calculus come together and I think we have to let Henry Anderson walk. I do think you can find another guy, a three, a three, four defensive end, whether it be in the draft, it'll, it'll help us get younger. Um, but I can also, I can also hear the argument that, Hey, we need a veteran presence on this field to help us transition. So I see it both ways, but in my mind, I think we can get younger and, uh, I, I have some concern. The man just had a minor stroke. I got some concerns with that, bro. I don't want anybody passing out or dying on the field. So I don't know what his health is like. So I'm not going to speculate. But, you know, I just got for all that with injury concerns, injury history, uh, I think we can get younger. I'm going to say Henry Anderson, we got to walk. OK. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you all think about Henry Anderson in the comments would you bring them back if so how much would you bring them back for what does the contract look like that's the discussions i want to have in the comments what do you think this man brings because i can see the argument like i said I, I can see the argument of bringing him back um just my opinion i think we can afford to move on and get younger and find somebody in the draft maybe you know late round pick to come in and be a rotational defensive end and maybe sign another one uh and i think ygm might might take a, a bit of a leap in this 3-4 defense in my opinion all right that being said, like, subscribe, notification bell. I'll holler at y'all. I'm out. Peace.